Hey everybody, and welcome to today's video. And today we're going to be reviewing Kyle Busch's 2017 Nas Rowdy Energy Drink uh, for Joe Gibbs Racing. Obviously, he this was the number 18 that he ran back then, not 54 like now. But before we take a closer look at the die cast, I want to take a look at the box, which we should this time more because look at this box; it's like really cool. So on the top we have Nas Energy Drink 18 Rowdy. Kyle Busch's signature right there, a can of the NOS Rowdy Energy Drink right there. On the front we have Kyle Busch, NOS Energy Drink, pretty simple. You can see that checkered flag on the back. On this side we have 2017, uh, Silver Series right there. On this side we have the same thing as the top, same design. Over here we have NOS Energy Drink, Kyle Busch, 18. Over here we have Kyle Busch. Number 18, NOS Energy, 2017 Camry, 1 out of 1,203, which is a lot, but that doesn't mean this car is easy to get because it's pretty hard to get, which you would see why, because look at that beautiful design. Uh, this diecast also came with these cards, so this one, this junk right here, and this one that basically says, because this is a, see, if you want to pause it, you can read it, but all it says is because this is an energy drink car, I guess NOS Energy doesn't want kids to play with this I guess which I, that's where they put the base on the bottom so you can't roll also to get this base open it's pretty hard you have to I've seen videos on how to do it so it's see these screws it's glued which is what is holding it those two screws and to get it open you have to get a drill bit and drill it these two and that exposes a drill but it's not a normal like uh, Phillips screwdriver uh, bit. You have to get it's like a I think it's a triangle bit if I'm not mistaken. We have to get it and then open it. Which for right now I'm not. I don't plan on taking the base off this right now. I'll just keep it maybe later on, but who knows. But now let's get to the diecast and this is a really beautiful diecast. I think it follows the same design as his normal blue and and orange. What do you want to call this? Reddish orange. Um, paint scheme, yes, they just replaced the black for the blue, and I think they're both pretty good. Actually, I think I like this one a little bit more, just because it's like more, I guess the colors mix better, but that's just me, but I think they're both really good paint schemes. I guess this, I'll put this one over the normal blue one. Let's take a quick 360. So this was a promo in 2017, or when it released. This is, a, this is a 2017 diecast, but I don't know if it released in 2017. It might have been 2018. But it was a, I think it was a promo on his Kyle Busch's website. I don't know if they put it, NOS Energy had it on their website. You have to get it somewhere else. I don't know, but I know for a fact that it was on Kyle Busch's website. So let's start with the hood. On the hood, we have NOS Energy Drink Rowdy. On the front, we have Toyota, Camry, the front lights, the grill, number 18. Some sponsors over here on this side, same sponsors over here. Joe Gibbs Racing logo. The splitter is that reddish orange. It looks more red, but not red on camera, but in real life it's like more orange. Also, this little side note, this kind of makes me bad because you, you see this little design over here? It overlaps from this side. I, I don't know why they just made that. They should have made that orange, but whatever. Over here we have Goodyear in yellow, and we have Goodyear Eagle yellow tires lettering on all four of them. We have the, the sponsors over here, the Spinning Series logo, the NASCAR race car logo. Number 18, checkered pattern over here, which I didn't notice that until I looked closely into it. It was a checkered pattern, I thought it was just a solid black. We have NOS, uh, Rowdy, high performance energy drink, fuel door, the, the same design over here that goes through it, the tire. Uh, nothing on the post, not a lot of sponsors on the post, we just have Toyota and Joe Gibbs Racing, we have Rowdy, the window net, which is on these Xfinity cars, it's like plastic, not cloth, like the Cup Series cars. Uh, we have NOS Energy Drink, the can, right here, sideways. We have the DIN number, 64, the back window, the back window name plate, Kyle Bush over here. On the top, we have DrinkNOS.com, we have number 18 on the top. Uh, we have the nub for the camera, onboard camera right there. Hard to see, but right there. On the front windshield, we have Xfinity. It's a simple Xfinity banner. Uh, the spoiler is that the two-year spoiler. I don't know what you call it, but I call it the 
ear spoilers because they, they pop out more. On the back we have NOS, Energy Drink, Toyota, little decal for the camera, back camera, Camry, XSE, 18, the back decals, backlight decals over here. And we have Toyota and the same design that overlaps over here. And it meets up right here. That's pretty cool. On this side, we have the same things, except we have a window, of course, over here. And I believe we have the exhaust that comes, yeah, over here, comes out through this way. Obviously, you can't, I can't really show it that good. Since it's really hard to hold this die cast from the bottom of the base. But yeah, pretty, pretty simple design, but still, I think it's still a good design. Uh, here's the underside. Let me try to show it. As you can see, we have the same stuff like always with these ARCs. You see the splitter is orange on the bottom, which I, that's a good detail. I like that they do that. And just they don't cheap out and just do the top line off. You put a little bit of effort and put it in the bottom, so that's good. Um, I will show you the hood. Oh, they don't open there, man. Oh, they do open. Yeah, sorry. I thought it was a truck car, <laughs> but I would show it to you, but I can't really open it from the side. It's also really hard to do that. But other than that, that's pretty much it for this diecast. If you want to get this, your best bet would be um, eBay, which is where I got this. I got this, I think, a couple months ago. And I barely got around to re reviewing it, but still a pretty good paint scheme. But yeah, I got this for around, I mean, I've seen this go for like over 100, and I got it under 100, so I got a, got a, got a really good deal on it. But like I said, your best bet would probably be eBay, maybe even on a Facebook group or something, but yeah. Um, but other than that, that's been it for today's video. Like I said, uh, subscribe. Like I said before, uh, like the video if you liked it. If you want to see more of these videos, obviously, uh, more of these reviews and haul videos, uh, collection videos, uh, I guess that's subscribing would really help the channel grow and get more people attracted to it so I can do more of these cool videos. But that's been it for today. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time. Thank you.